You're watching KWWL. We've got you covered. This is the News at Noon. Now on the KWWL News at Noon, arrest, shootings, looting, and violence continues in Ferguson. Plus, new rules in place for property owners in Cedar Falls, at least temporarily. We'll have the latest on a the controversy there and a more than century-old Eastern Iowa business closing its doors for good. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for this News at Noon. I'm Justin Andrews. Till Jennings is off. New at noon, it's official. A well-known jingle in Eastern Iowa will soon be no more. That's right, after 125 years, Smulikovs is now, is not just moving off the downtown location, but closing its doors for good. KWWL's Michelle Corliss joins us now live in Cedar Rapids. Michelle, you spoke with an employee just a little bit ago. It's going to be a hard, big change. Now the store closed today as employees prepare for the store's final sale. It will reopen to customers on August 30th. Now let's join StormTrack 7 meteorologist Denise Pelster for your first forecast. Denise. Continuing coverage this noon for the 10th straight night, chaos erupted in Ferguson, Missouri. Police say a small minority of aggregators are causing the protests to escalate into violence. In some cases, shooting at officers, throwing bottles and cocktails. In an increasing dangerously situation, two people were shot overnight, none by police who do not, they did not return fire. Leanne Gregg is in Ferguson with the latest. Another night of chaos on the streets of Ferguson. You need to continue what started as peaceful protests turned into confrontation with smoke and gunfire filling the air. By morning, more than 30 arrested. I stood there and listened over the radio and heard the screams of those officers. Cedar Falls residents can convert homes into rental properties after a decision at last night's city council meeting. The council voted six to one to put a six month memorandum on the practice. It's been the subject of debate for months. There's been concern that rental homes are not being well kept and are lowering property values in some neighborhoods. The city council says the, the, more, the, excuse me, the more moratorium is intended to buy time while a task force looks at alternatives. I think we made it clear that this is not a forever thing, that there's a, a way that people can still make these conversions uh, in particular circumstances, and ultimately they'll still be able to do it. We just want to have a little more handle on uh, how that process works. It would be stomping all over property owners' rights. I have the right for the best use of my property. That's pretty much ingrained into us when you go to school to become a realtor. Landlords say the ban isn't fair to them because it unfairly targets property owners and limits what an existing property owner can do with their home. In other news this noon, homeless people in Des Moines are looking for a new place to stay after the city forced them out of campsites near the Des Moines River. The city cleared more than a dozen sites near the river on Monday. Around 50 people were living there until getting notice that they were being evicted. Many didn't wait until the last minute to leave the area, but not everyone is leaving without a fight. We don't harm anybody. We just stick to our own. We take care of each other. Apparently the city has a problem with that. The answers to chronic homelessness are not easy. Uh, what I can say is that living on the riverbanks isn't a solution to that problem. Now there isn't much room in most Des Moines homeless shelters, which are already overflowing. Some homeless people say they didn't want to be in those shelters anyway because of the bed bug problem. Many campers say the conditions have them afraid to go to shelters. Central Iowa Shelter and Services admit there is a bed bug problem. The shelter says bed bugs are nearly impossible to avoid with hundreds of people staying there. They spend almost $20,000 per year fighting to get rid of the bed bugs. Everything there in the building is put into a machine that superheats it and destroys bed bugs and their eggs. Client belongings that uh, all come in, they get put in these knapsack. Um, it'll go in this hot box and then it gets heated up. Now the beds also have metal frames and treated sheets to help them fight bed bugs. 
Coming up in Iraq, control of dam marks a victory over ISIS militants. You're watching the KWWL News at Noon. We've got you covered.